This edition of This is Exclusive, we are now getting you full details of the investigation that has been carried out by the Income Tax Department and the Enforcement Directorate. The full IT order as well as the investigation that has been carried out by the Enforcement Directorate debunking the claims that have been made by the Aam Aadmi Party with regards to the fact that there is no association of Satender Jain with those companies and, and the fact that he was never a minister when he was being associated with these very companies. Now, those details have now been completely debunked by the Enforcement Directorate. This is what we are going to show right now to you is the income tax order first and then we'll also get you the full details of the investigation that's been carried out and the fact that we are looking at how many companies. Take a look at this. This is what the Enforcement Directorate is basically indicating that Satender Jain was engaged in the offence of money laundering through three Hawala, three Hawala operators based in Kolkata, as well as several paper companies, namely Prayas, Info Solutions, Private Limited, Indo Metal, Impex Limited. These are the five companies, and they are saying there are three Hawala operators. Let's move. Satendra Kumar Jain has received Hawala entries about totaling about sixteen thousand. 39 crore from 56 paper companies. There are 56 paper companies from three Hawala entry operators located in Kolkata, Jivendra Mishra, Abhishek Chukhani and Rajendra Bansal. Let's get you four more details coming in right now. What was the money actually being used for? The money was being used for purchasing about 200 biga of land in Kerala, Ochandi, Nizampur, Budam, North and Northwest area of Delhi. Now here is the full list. Here is the full list of the companies and the properties that have been brought, bought by Satender Jain. And here, this is what the Enforcement Directorate is indicating. Unauthorized colonies. They are all in close vicinity of unauthorized colonies. And this is the full list of the properties that have been bought by Satender Jain and his family members. And it's important to point out here that all of this is between 2010 and 11, 2015, 2016. Jain was a minister between 2013, 2014. Let's take a look at this. Important to point out here that Jain himself was engaged in the offence of money laundering of about 16.39 crore between 2010, 11 and 2015, 2016. And this has been admitted by the Hawala entry operator. Hawala entry operator has now admitted that money was actually given income tax department let's take a look at it this is the income tax department order that has been accessed take a look at these these are the 10 companies there are a total of 10 companies and this is what the income tax department is saying look here beneficial order satender kumar the 10 list of companies that have now come under the scanner this was the income tax department the income tax department order has now been accessed by republic tv let's go back to some more details some breaking news now also coming in full details now this is the entire list look at look at here this is the company poonam jain wife of satender jain majority shareholder poonam jain wife of satender jain getting about 1.8 crore between 2011-12 and 0.69 crore between 2015 and 2016 they're also saying all these companies used by Satender Jain for money laundering or purchase of land using his black money are still under the control of Satender Jain. Now, this is the income that has been disclosed. This is the income. Take a look at this. This is the income that has been disclosed by Satender Jain from 2009 to 2015 and 16. In one year, he's saying his income is 2,30,000, but the investment is about 200 acres of land by Satender Jain through various shell companies. This is the income that has been declared by Poonam Jain, wife of Satender Jain. He was buying land worth several crores both on his name and on Benami names. Jain brought land of 1.6 acres on 27th, 2013. This is the amount of the fair market value. Now, what is it that he has now? Let's just bring in our reporters and let's uh, try and get you more details right now. And what are the major charges? What are the major charges here? He has been proved to be involved in cases of tax evasion, money laundering and evasion of stamp duty. Jen himself admitted that unaccounted cash of at least 16.39 crore was money laundered and Honorable Delhi High Court has held proceeds of crime in form of money laundered amount of about 16.39 owned by Satender Jen. 
He was found holding lands on Binami names and land of 123.161 Biga, which has already been attached under the Binami Property Transaction Act. CBI has already filed a charge sheet against Jen as accused under the PC Act. Shunglu Committee has already indicted Satyendra Jain for several violations and he has also furnished incorrect details of his investment before the election commission. That's the big breaking news now coming in. Let's quickly go across to my colleague uh, Ananya who's been getting us more details. Ananya, you've also got the, you've also got details right now of uh, the remand. Let's move and get you the details of the remand copy. That remand copy becomes very, very crucial and take us to the details that you're getting. Show us the remand copy that you've got and the details that you're getting. We'll try, we'll try and go across to Anand in a short while from now. I'll ask my cab uh, producers to also show you the income tax department order that has been accessed. Again, this income tax department, let's just, uh, I'll ask my producers to just come back to the frame. This is the income tax department order that has been accessed. Let's just quickly show you. I'll ask my producer to quickly come back and show you this order. Now, this income tax department order that we have accessed clearly makes a mention of the Beirabi properties. It clearly makes a mention of the fact that he has been booked under the Prevention of Corruption Act as far as the CBI is concerned. You are looking at a disproportionate assets case of about 214% during the check period of 2014 and 2015. That's the big news now coming in. Now, second, very, very important, take a look at this. Uh, I'll ask my producers to once again just come back before we go into the graphics. This is the income tax order that I'm holding right now in our hand. This, this income tax department order makes a clear mention of some of the charges. So one, that he was not related to the very companies, the companies that were connected to Satyendra Jain. This was not when he was a minister, but take a look at this income tax department order in which there is a clear mention that he was a minister. He was a minister when he was directly linked to these companies. Let's go across to my colleague Ananya, who's also got us the remand copy, exclusively accessed by Ananya right now. Ananya, you've also got the uh, remand copy. We've just put out the income tax department order. They, it makes a clear mention of the Benami properties. What are the details are you picking up from the remand copy that has now been accessed by you? Well, yes, uh, essentially, Shavan, uh, the ED uh, in its remand copy has clearly stated that uh, in fact uh, Mr. Satyendra Jain actually engaged in uh, money laundering and what exactly has been said is that he had shell companies based out both in Delhi and in Kolkata and uh, money was first given out in Delhi in cash and then these monies uh, this money was basically transferred to Kolkata uh, where this money was used to purchase land through checks and uh, these checks were basically uh, not uh, never in cash so basically a money trail a big money trail that what the ed has say, said that a big money trail of shell companies not only in the national capital but also in kolkata were operating under the ages of mr jen and he was actually um, uh, acting as a consultant to these firms uh, he is a non-performing architect as what the ED says in its arguments before the court and also in its remand copy. And in the garb of providing consultancy, these companies were actually uh, uh, were under the benefit. He was a uh, direct beneficiaries of uh, these uh, uh, companies' uh, amounts and the whole tainted money that has emerged out into this whole case. Basically, this money shavan was being used in order to uh, purchase agricultural lands in various places and... Uh, in fact, uh, Mr. Jan uh, was making payments through checks, but these checks were never in cash. So basically, the black money was being converted into white. Hawala money was actually being used by Mr. Jan. And what the ED essentially has asked for a 14-day remand member, had asked for a 14-day remand and has already been granted a 10-day remand by the court, uh, wherein the ED, uh, who, who's being represented by Sir uh, Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, clearly told the court that the money trade is real and a very very big one and uh, uh, one or two days would not be enough in order to uh, completely trace down this whole big money trail where a uh, huge hawala transaction had happened and mr jen along with his accomplices were uh, was actually uh, laundering right. money and Ananya, is punishable Ananya. Offense, uh, which is a yeah Chavan. Ananya. I have just, I have just put, I have just got the, the, the remand copy that you've, uh, you've got us. 
Now, the remand copy makes a very interesting details. And before we just slip into a short break, I'll just go through the remand copy. Now, we have also accessed the remand copy that uh, Ananya has got for us from the court. Now, here, I'll just show you. Now, in this, they make a very clear mention of the companies. In the remand copy, they're making a mention of the five companies. Akinchan Developers, Paryas Info Solution, Mangalyan Pro Projects, JJ Ideal Estate and the Commission. Now, you're talking about, you're talking about Hawala operators, three Hawala operators who have been questioned by the Enforcement Directorate. They make, they find a mention in this remand copy. We are, perhaps we'll try and put that out also. Remand copy that has exclusively been accessed. Now, they make a mention of the entries, the accommodation entries that have been made to these very companies. And how is it going? It is finally going to Satyendra, Kamp Satyendra Jain's companies, companies that have been linked directly, indirectly and finally being used to purchase lands, 200 bigas of land that has been purchased. So to say that he, there was a clean chit that was given, that is absolutely incorrect because now, now details that are basically emerging telling us that there is already a charge sheet that has been filed by the Central Bureau of Investigation. The Income Tax Department's assessment order, which has been accessed, this is the Income Tax Department's assessment order that we have accessed, clear mention of the Benami companies and who is the beneficial owner. We'll slip into a short break. On the other side, we'll get you more exclusive as far as this massive investigation that has been carried out by the Enforcement Directorate. Important to point out here, Enforcement Directorate maintains that we have got strong evidence to counter the kind of allegations that have been levelled against them.